Okay. Uh, let me have Dennis out here. We're going to do some takedowns. This one, and we're actually going to uh, execute this. So grappling, maybe he's grabbing onto my gi. However he's grabbing on, it's not a, a big deal. But I'm going to grab the shoulders. Okay, because I want to have a, a, a firm grip. And I want to be, I don't want to be up here. I want to be on the side so that I can generate leverage. Okay, I want to be able to pull down and up as I rotate him to execute this technique. So in different takedowns, sometimes we're grabbing the arm and we're hooking behind and I'm executing a throw that way. Uh, where you're grabbing is important for the takedown. There are many takedowns that you can execute with different grips though, but you need to understand what grips work for different takedowns. So we're gonna do this one. Let's say we're wrestling with each other. We're trying to get each other down. So in that process, we can be moving forward and backwards. Okay, if I get him moving forward, so let's let me make sure I have enough room to go backwards. If I get him moving this way, I'm going to cut across and just take him down like that. It's a trip. Okay, it's not a hip throw. Uh, step off for one second. I want to make sure we have plenty of mass. Okay. It's not a hip throw. What I'm doing, and I wanted to demonstrate it somewhat quickly uh, and without him knowing, that wasn't actually the best execution, but it did work. But I want to step. Now this one cuts around in front, and you want to cut close to the person. As I cut across to trip him, I want that leg close to him. If I leave too much space, he's just going to walk over it and around. He's going to see it coming. I want to do it quick. I don't want him to know that it's coming, and I have to keep that leg close to him. Now in slow motion, so I'm pulling him and he's stepping at the same time. I cut across. I, essentially, I want my knee right in line with his knee, okay? From here, I'm pulling down and up like this, and I'm going to use my hips and twist him around just like that to throw him over, okay? Give me a grip. I'll give you an opportunity to see. So we're grappling, okay? I'm going to step back as he's stepping forward. I cut quicker than this, and he's doing it in slow motion. It's leg to leg, and I need to really generate leverage here, pulling down and up, and just twist him around, okay? Let's do it from this side. Let's do it over here. First of all, when we're grappling, at this point, you guys have learned multiple takedowns. You have to create leverage for them to work. You cannot, let's say it's the hawk down. Maybe I have his arm here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna sweep his leg out, okay? I can't step in and just go and sweep. There's different ways that we create leverage. Usually it's by scissoring forces, by forces that are opposing each other. Whether I'm pulling down and up. In, uh, in the leg sweep, Step in. in the leg sweep instance, I might strike, whether it's into his chest, I get him bent backwards. So now I've broken his height. He doesn't have a center. Okay, He's not rooted. All those basically mean the same thing. And now I'm going to push forward and I'm going to sweep that leg backwards to take him down. Okay, so we always have to create leverage. I can do that in all these different directions. I could be pulling him forward first, shifting his weight off balance. That's what we're doing in this technique. I'm pulling him off balance. He's not just standing upright and I cut across and then try to pull and twist. When we're grappling with each other, I'm pulling. I want to get him off balance. That's key. See, now it's, see he's fixing his balance now. Now the technique won't work as well. See, this crap here for a minute. So I'm pulling him off balance. I cut across and then I twist. Just a trick. One more element. I may or may not have already said it, but I want to remind you because it's so important. First of all, when we're doing this, if, if I get him to step, I have to pop across quick. When he's stepping, I need to be pulling him off balance because I'm putting my knee right in front of his. We're not going to stand here all day because he can buckle my knee and take me down. It's instantaneous. In fact, it's so instantaneous, I want to be pulling him off balance because as we're moving around and grappling, I want to be pulling him and cut across as that leg is landing, okay? You want to catch him before he gets himself rooted. It's as he's coming in the land, I just trip, trip him right over that leg, okay? 
Okay? So he's stepping, I trip, just like that.